Hello and welcome back. Are you ready to our lesson today? If you are ready, press start. Page 13. Now, we're going to reorder these words to form a sentences. Learn, school, we, at, English. Could you reorder them? And after that, write. The correct... We learn English at school. Yes, very good. Number two, seven starts half past at school. Could you reorder it and write the correct answer, please? Yes, very good. School starts at half past seven. Number three, do homework every day, I, my. Yes, excellent, very good. I do my homework every day. And now we're going to learn new words. Come on. Tomorrow, tomorrow, repeat after me, tomorrow, tomorrow. Look at this picture, the days of the week. Today is Monday, so tomorrow will be Tuesday. Tomorrow is Tuesday. Ask, ask, repeat after me. Ask, ask, yes, very good. Look at this boy. He raised his hand. He want to ask a question. I want to ask you about the homework. And now, open your box page 36. Could you tell me what can you see in this picture? I can see Polly and Jasim. They are talking about school. Yes, very good. Now, could you read the text, please, in your book? We want to read the text carefully to find out the answer of these questions, okay? Now, let's watch a video about our lesson. 
And after that, we're gonna to check. Can I come to school with you tomorrow? I'll ask my teacher, Mr. Walid. Can Polly come to school with me tomorrow? She's a parrot. I don't know. I'll ask Mr. Hamad. Can Polly come to school with Jessim tomorrow? Polly's a parrot. Yes, of course. Read the text again and find out the name of the subject that Jasim learned at school. Yes, very good. Jasim learns English, science, Arabic and religion at school. Read the text again and circle the part of the dialogue which says that Polly can go to school with Jasim. Yes, excellent. Mr. Hamad say yes, of course, Polly can go to school with Jasim. Now we're going to learn new grammar. Today we're going to learn the future simple tense. How can we form the future simple tense? The sentence will contain, um, consist of subject, well, plus verb, plus object. Here is some examples. Number one, I will go to the doctor. You will go to the doctor. He or she will go to the doctor. We will go to the doctor. And they will go to the doctor. When we make the future simple in negative form, we first we put the subject plus well plus not plus the verb and after that the object. Here is some examples. Number one, I will not go to the doctor. Number two, you will not go to the doctor. Number three, he or she will not go to the doctor. We will not go to the doctor. They will not go to the doctor. And now, Let's watch this video about the future simple tense. Future simple. We use future simple to predict future events. It will be sunny tomorrow. To express promises. I promise I will make my bed. To make spontaneous or quick decisions. Mary, my computer is not working. Don't worry. I will help you fix it. 
We also use the future simple for coming events. Your grandma will arrive in a few minutes. I'm so happy. Let's recap. We use the future simple to predict future events, to express promises, to make spontaneous or quick decisions, and to talk about coming events. I will teach. You will ask. He will travel. Here are some more examples. What will you do today? I will go to the work. Very good. What will you do today? I will ride my bicycle. What will you do today? I will go to the beach. Very good. What will you do today? I will go shopping. Excellent. Thank you for watching. Bye. This is our homework. You're gonna to write five things that you will do tomorrow. What will you do tomorrow? Could you tell me what will you do tomorrow? Yes.